Um, so I have done my three colors. I have white for the background, um, blue for the um, kind of first layer of color, and then black for the outlined areas. Again, you can do whatever colors you want. You can do three colors. If you wanted to be able to see inside of, um, like if you did a portrait of somebody, you could use black to kind of outline things and leave their face white or brown or whatever color you want them to be, right? Um, so when I say background for the white, what I really mean is the paper. Obviously the blue is sort of the background. So if you've gotten to this step, what I want you to do next is on that piece of paper, I want you to start writing down your steps and labeling with numbers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is carve away my white areas. So you are gonna actually um, do this with me. You can do it now if you want to, if it's helpful to you. I also wrote the same exact thing on the board, um, or you can wait until I'm done and I will keep this up on the, um, up here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is carve away with my carving tool anything that is white. If you are not at this step, don't worry about it. You can come back to the video. I'll be around to help you. So I'm gonna carve away the white areas of my plate. And when I say plate, I mean this piece of rubber. See how the back is carved? You're gonna be using the other side of it. But when I talk about carving, you're removing the material. Then I am gonna print my first color, okay? So number two, I am gonna print my largest area of color. So I am gonna print blue. Print light blue. Then, this is called a reductive print, so there's gonna be multiple carvings. I am gonna carve away all of the area that would have been blue, okay? All this is gonna get carved away. And so I'm gonna write carve away blue areas. We call this the plate of the plate, even though it's it's made of rubber. And then I'm gonna print my last color. So my last color is black. Print black. Now let's say I wanted to do a little dot of red or something like that. I Let's say I wanted a third color in here. Uh, maybe I wanna do some little red polka dots on the person or red, I don't know, accents. The next thing I would do is I would carve away all of the black and then I would print, except for the areas that I wanted red, okay? And then I would print those red. So I want you, anyone who's done with their color, go through and try to make sense of what are the or, what is the order in which I'm gonna print this. And if this makes no sense to you and you're finding it confusing, don't worry, we're all gonna go through the process and in the actual making of it, it will make sense to you, I promise. It will be helpful to label your colors too, um, what steps you're gonna print first. So obviously I'm printing my white area, so that would be one, two, and then I couldn't write on top of the black, you wouldn't really see it, but three, so. Um, the other thing that you're gonna do after you've done that, I don't assume that's gonna take very long, is you're gonna trace a small part of your drawing. So let's say this is my image that I'm gonna print everybody, right? This is gonna be my final print. I want you to take a small segment of it and trace it. You guys already traced, so you don't need to retrace. You can just use some of the tracing paper, all right? So I just took a little portion of mine here, and I am gonna transfer it to a piece of rubber. This rubber can be found in the drawer, our class drawer. I've cut it to size. The cool thing about the rubber is it has two sides, and you can reuse it, so I this stuff is expensive. So we are gonna be using some old rubber for this first test print. You'll get a fresh piece for the, the, uh, the final print. And you're gonna flip it over to the smooth side. You're gonna take your tracing paper and you are just gonna transfer a part of your print to that, tra to that rubber. Um, and you might say, well, what part should I try testing? I would try testing a part that has multiple colors and one that may be complex. Maybe there's an area where there's a lot of detail on the face or you're not sure how you wanna work the background. Transfer an area that you think could be challenging. This test print is just a small exercise. It's a way to work out any areas that might be difficult and to further understand this before you get a final piece of rubber. 
because it is a little bit of a confusing process. All right, so I transferred my little guy and then I'm gonna look at my, I might throw a couple more lines in there just to experiment, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is take a permanent marker because this is gonna get washed every time I print it, so I wanna outline everything. Oh, this is one of those. It's trying to take the cap off. So you're just gonna outline things. You don't have to like necessarily color them in unless they're gonna be solid black. Like I could color the figure in. Okay, and again, the reason that we're doing the test print is to work out any um, problems you might have with your composition, make sure you understand the process. Um, if there's any mistakes that are gonna be made, better to make them here versus the final piece. And then if you need to make adjustments on the final piece. So you're just taking a little portion of your final and testing it out here. Um, that's as far as we're gonna get today. I will talk about carving and printing probably tomorrow.